Hello ICT traders, welcome back to the channel. It's Solomon King here and in today's video we are basically going to talk about ICT premium and discount. Why do we need to know about the concept of premium and discount? It is important for us to know about this concept because this concept will help us to be able to take trades that will give us the best risk to reward ratio and it will help us to avoid getting into trade too early so let me show you what exactly is premium and discount but before you do anything premium and discount you must understand price range and this is what we mean when we say price range when you see price move from here to here moving like this movement from here to here is what we call a price range and we're going to define our price range using the fibonacci tool pick your fibonacci tool place it right here this is an uptrend we'll place it right at this higher low that is swing low take it to the higher high the swing high let me show you how to set up your fibonacci tool like a professional simply come to settings right here click on it and look at all this data follow me through everything i'm going to be doing right here we'll start from zero you will leave zero and take out this guy take out this guy you'll leave one take out this guy and take out this guy too and you take out this guy you leave 0 0.5 take out this guy this guy this guy the only data we're going to leave is 0 1 and 0 0.5 i will show you exactly why we need these values you will scroll down to where you can see background color if you wish to take out the background color you can take it out and you can enable it you can even make it more darker so somebody can see it visibly and you can change the values to percent if you wish to leave it as percent you click on it it will change to percentage you can actually see 50 percent zero percent and hundred percent and you can move the values to the right hand side if you wish to do that you simply come to label click on it click on right they will come to the right hand side and the colors too you can decide to make them maybe darker right here and this one too you can make it darker if you wish or you can leave it as green and this one up here you can leave it as red whichever color you wish to leave it for you click on ok so this is how you define your price range you measure distance from here to here including the retracement so the concept of premium and discount is important because it helps us to know where to take trade that will give us the best risk to reward ratio so assuming i see this price range to here and price is tracing into this level into this area this level where price is the middle of this price range is what we call equilibrium is what we call equilibrium and it is half the price range equilibrium i hope i spell it right so this is half the price range and that is halfway the price movement equilibrium so the next thing you need to know is that below this equilibrium level is what we call discount and why is it discount it is simply discount because that is where most traders will want to take trade it is cheap it is easier to buy in this level assuming i want to go long in this market picking my entry from equilibrium my stop loss is going to be below here obviously right here and my target is somewhere around here this is just one is to one which is a very very low risk to reward ratio but if i'm taking trade from discount right here my stop loss is going to be here and my target is going to be here this is almost one is to three risk to reward ratio and this is why if we are going long in a bullish market we prefer to take trade at a discount because anything from the equilibrium downward is called discount and it is the best place to take trade if you are going long in the market right there at this point this is discount this is equilibrium and above the equilibrium anything here and above is called 
your premium let me give you the label premium so this is what we call the premium and discount area from the 50 percent above it's called premium if you are selling from premium you're going to get the best risk to reward ratio and if you are buying from discount you're going to get the best risk to reward ratio in a bearish market something like this it is preferably best that you take trade from a premium because that will give you the best risk to reward ratio the same thing happens here we measure from here to here and we can confidently call anything above the 50 percent our premium and below is our discount equilibrium is just middle of this place so i hope you understand how the concept of premium and discount operates you can maximize your profit and you can avoid taking trade from a position that will give you the low risk to reward ratio and you will avoid getting into trade too early now how we take trade using premium and discount is that we look for a pdra at a discount if we want to go bullish pdra is simply the arrangement of all the seven institutional reference points we start from a fair value gap liquidity void or another block if we see a fair value gap in discount this gives us the best entry possible and then if we see an order block it gives us another confirmation if we see a liquidity void it gives us more confluence i'm going to talk about confluence in the subsequent videos that i will make but if we see these things arranged in a discount area when we are going bullish we get the best trade possible and if we see these things arranged in the premium area it's our premium guys let me hear you answer that in your heart <laughs> that is it so this is our premium and this is our discount okay this is our premium and this is our discount so how do we take trade is it from 50 percent of our retracement let's see is it here if we are entering trade from there from here and our target is here right here and you can use this same concept guys to understand where the entire market is from a higher time frame let's say from the daily time frame you can look at where price is and obviously define your market bias for that particular current cpa so look at this looking at this if we're entering from there our stop loss is going to be here which is a very low risk to reward ratio so we are not interested in taking trade from the middle we can patiently wait for price to go to what to our discount and we said we are looking for a pd array in the discount a pd array can be a fair value gap an order block a liquidity void or whichever one that best suits your trading pattern look at this we can see starting from this mitigation block this guy and guys by the way if you are starting out with ict concept you are yet to understand what we are doing here i have a youtube channel that is completely dedicated to beginners in ict concept simply use the link i'll drop the link in the description of this particular video subscribe to it i have started from the beginners the intermediate and then the advanced level ict videos you can find it right here on this youtube channel so you can start from here you will have the sequential arrangement of everything we are doing so if you don't know what i'm even showing you right here this is a mitigation block i just showed you a mitigation block right here so those of you who don't know what a mitigation block is is part of the pd array so this is a mitigation block starting from it and then another one here fear value gap. we see the confluence of this at this point a fear value gap right there let me make it more clear and another one here and other block so we have three of this confluence at the same place if you want to know which of this one price will use you can find a detailed video on my youtube channel on that let me show you the video other block of fear value gap which is best for entry 
you're going to see how I showed you which of this one's price will use. We have three of them right here. Confluence of these, these, and this. We have three of them. Which of them price will use? I've already shown you in that video. So you can simply use that video to watch it. Our premium, our equilibrium, and our discount. It's pretty much easy to do this. So if we have defined it, we can select either the favor value gap mitigation block or this other block. I'm not going to show you which of these ones price will use now because you can find the video on my YouTube channel. So clicking on this, getting an entry, I will prefer to use the mitigation block because it is on the higher position in the PDRA. So my target is obviously here. That is the first target and my stop loss is somewhere here. So if I'm taking trade, I'm going to take trade like that. You can actually see that taking trade from that level discount area gives you the most risk to reward ratio and then it gives you the best kind of trade entry so you're going to see this time and again every time you see a price range you can define it right here let me show you this one too price range right here um right here from here to here we have a price range let me reduce the thickness of this color so we can make it more lighter so from here to here the price range is defined and look at this just here look at the effect of taking trade from the 50 percent area price never reached here you were just used as an inducement entering trade from here look at where trade had to come to down into the discount um, reaching out for this pdra favor look up right here okay favor look up right there and then it showed up to the upside let me see if I can see a bearish movement that we can define the range. Even this one, this entire movement, you can define this small movement and you can define this entire movement. You can actually see that all this liquidity residing above here, this is what we call inducement. The diagonal liquidity right here was massively peaked. The diagonal liquidity and then price reached out for this level crashing down to that area so you're going to see this time and again you can define this trading range from here to here and then price reached out to this bearish order block crashing down so this is the concept of premium and discount guys if you find this video helpful be sure you give me a subscribe and make this channel to grow faster and if you have any question let me know in the comment and guys right after this one i'm going to drop a video about the ict silver bullet strategy i want to just do some upgrades i want to show you how to use it properly the best way to do it so if you have any question let me know in the comments i will keep making videos that will help you to grow as you trade in the financial market thank you guys for watching see you in another video